Welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Dr. Lucy of the Eye Clinic channel. In this channel, we teach you about eye diseases and eye conditions and where you can get some help. We also tell you some of the things you can do in the comfort of your home to sort out some minor eye difficulties. So be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know when we do upload and we do this every week. This is the part two of the diabetic series. And if you've not already watched the first part, I'll put a link below so that you can go and check it out. If you're diabetic, the big question is, will diabetes cost your eyesight? In this video, I'll show you four ways in which diabetes can cost your eyesight and three ways in which you can make sure that this does not happen. So let's get along. The first way in which diabetes causes blindness is by affecting the retina and the condition is known as retinopathy. This is by far the most dangerous and the most difficult to deal with. The retina is the most sensitive part of the eye where most of the vision emanates from. What happens here is diabetes affects the blood vessels supplying blood and nutrients to the retina. So those are weakened and they tend to break and bleed. What this means is that part of the retina is not supplied with blood and oxygen and nutrients. So all those are cut off. The diabetes retina then responds by forming new vessels in a bit to get its nutrients and oxygen that it is so badly needs. Unfortunately, those new vessels are more weak and they tend to break and bleed. So the affected areas heal with scar formation. And as you know, scars are usually shorter and tighter than the original tissue. And therefore, the retina pulls itself and there will be breaks in between. What happens next is that blood and fluid gets into those bricks and lifts the retina off from its base, causing detachment. And this is what we call retinal detachment and is one of the major causes of blindness in diabetics. So diabetes affects the nerves by cutting off the blood supply in the same way that it causes loss of blood supply to the retina. And what this means is some of the functions of these nerves or the muscles that these nerves are supplying may be unable to function. So occasionally you may see patients with asymmetric faces or patients may complain of double vision depending on the nerve that has been affected. The second cause of blindness in diabetics is macular edema. The macula is part of the retina where most of the vision fibers are concentrated and where we get most of the vision. What happens here is that the macula gets swelling and edematous because of the leakage of the damaged blood vessels from the retina and this interferes with the clarity of vision so the third cause is cataract and this is the clouding of the natural lens the natural lens is responsible for light transmission and refraction of light so light from an object must be refracted so that we're able to see it clearly and this happens because the natural lens is clear and is able to change shape so that it can bend the light so any process that interferes with the clarity of the lens also interferes with the clarity of vision. So diabetes causes clouding of the lens and therefore light cannot be able to pass through and therefore interferes with the vision. Of course, this can happen without diabetes, but diabetics in diabetics, this process is accelerated. Finally, glaucoma is one of the silent causes of blindness, not just in diabetics, but also in the general population. Glaucoma is due to sustained high pressures in the eye and diabetes causes this by blocking some of the tubes that drain fluids from the eye. Sustained high pressures in the eye continue to damage the nerve that transmits messages from the eye to the brain. So get into the habit of just testing your vision even if you're in the, not in the eye clinic by just closing one eye and seeing how far that eye can see and repeating the process on the other side. Sometimes patients just get surprised when they are told to close one eye and discover that one of the eyes does not actually see. To prevent these complications, I will give you three ways and the first is good sugar control. Sustained high sugar levels in the blood continue to weaken and damage your blood vessels. So good sugar control reduces or delays some of these effects. And this can be done through diet or medications from your diabetologist. Frequent sugar analysis is ideal and it is always a good thing to get a personal glucometer so that you can test your sugar levels on a day-to-day -day basis. The other way is to make sure that you keep your eye checkup schedule up to date. This should be done annually and your doctor needs to do a dilated eye examination because this can detect signs of eye damage early on and this can be nipped in the bud by use of laser bands to make sure that further damage 
does not occur. Early macular edema can be managed by injecting some medications into the retina to reduce that swelling and maintain the clarity of vision. But remember that even if the sugar levels are well controlled, diabetes still will continue to affect the vessels, but this should be delayed as much as is possible. So the third and final way is by use of supplements. So supplements containing omega-3, vitamin B complex, and other vitamins have been known to delay diabetic retinopathy. This is by protecting the eye from free radicals and preventing the macular and retinal damage. Of course, this should preferably be taken way before complications occur. So this sums our discussion today on the four ways in which diabetes causes blindness and three ways in which to make sure that this does not happen. I will put a link below for you so that you can go and watch the part one of this series. Simple exercise. Just close one eye and look at a distance object and repeat this process on the other side. If you find a profound difference between the clarity of vision between the two eyes, it is time to schedule an appointment with your eye doctor. My question today is, did you find a difference between your two eyes? Let us know in the comments below. To stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure you subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. Until next week, goodbye.